Chapter 18, Rumors and Repercussions The next school day dawned, buzzing with whispered rumors about Trevor and his friends. Word spread like wildfire that they had been taken to the police station for trespassing and were suspected of taking illegal drugs due to their claims of seeing ghosts. As students gathered in the hallways, hushed conversations filled the air. Some speculated about what Trevor and his friends had been doing at the school after hours, while others whispered about the supposed paranormal encounter they had experienced. In classrooms and during breaks, the topic of conversation revolved around the strange events of the previous night. Speculations ran wild, with theories ranging from ghost sightings to secret late-night rendezvous. Trevor and his friends, now the center of attention for all the wrong reasons, found themselves facing the consequences of their actions. As whispers and stares followed them throughout the day, they realized the gravity of their situation. Meanwhile, Alex observed the chaos unfolding around him, contemplating the role he had inadvertently played in Trevor's downfall. While he had only intended to scare them as a harmless prank, the repercussions had been far greater than he had anticipated. As the day wore on and the rumors continued to swirl, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of guilt that gnawed at him. Despite his best intentions, his actions had led to unforeseen consequences for Trevor and his friends. In the aftermath of the incident, the school community was left to grapple with the fallout, and Alex found himself questioning the true extent of his powers and the responsibility that came with them. As dismissal time approached, the atmosphere in the school seemed charged with tension. Students whispered in clusters, casting furtive glances at Trevor and his friends, who now sat in sullen silence, their usual bravado replaced by an air of apprehension. Alex, too, felt the weight of the situation bearing down on him as he navigated the crowded hallways. Despite his attempts to rationalize his actions as a harmless prank, he couldn't shake the sense of guilt that gnawed at him. As he passed by Trevor and his friends, Alex caught snippets of their conversation, a mix of frustration, confusion, and fear. They were clearly rattled by the events of the previous night, their once cocky demeanor now replaced by uncertainty. But amidst the chaos and speculation, there was also a sense of relief among the students. Trevor's reign of bullying had come to an abrupt halt, and many felt a newfound sense of freedom without his menacing presence looming over them. As the final bell rang, signaling the end of the school day, students poured out of classrooms and spilled into the hallways, eager to escape the tension that hung in the air. Trevor and his friends, however, remained seated, their expressions dark and brooding. For Alex, the events of the day served as a sobering reminder of the power and responsibility that came with his abilities. As he made his way home, he resolved to use his powers wisely, mindful of the impact his actions could have on others. But even as he pondered the events of the day, Alex couldn't shake the feeling that this was only the beginning of a much larger journey, one that would test him in ways he had never imagined. And as he looked to the future, uncertainty mingled with determination, propelling him forward into the unknown. As dismissal time approached, Alex reached his locker amidst the throng of students. Just as he was about to open it, he noticed a piece of paper sticking out from the door. Curiosity peaked, Alex plucked it out and unfolded it. His heart skipped a beat as he read the words scrawled across the page, I know what you did. A chill ran down his spine as he scanned the message, his mind racing with questions. Who could have written this? And more importantly, what did they know? Feeling a prickle of unease, Alex glanced around, but the bustling hallway revealed nothing out of the ordinary. Yet, the sense of being watched lingered, casting a shadow over his thoughts. With a furrowed brow, Alex carefully folded the note and tucked it into his pocket. As he continued on his way, the weight of the message hung heavy in his mind, a reminder that secrets were rarely kept for long. Throughout the rest of the day, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of unease. Every glance over his shoulder, every whispered conversation only added to his growing sense of paranoia. By the time dismissal came, he was on edge, his nerves frayed from the constant scrutiny. As he retrieved his belongings from his locker, the note burned a hole in his pocket, a silent accusation that refused to be ignored. With a heavy heart, Alex made his way home, the weight of the message weighing heavily on his mind. Little did he know, this was only the beginning of a mystery that would unravel the very fabric of his reality. As Alex made his way home, thoughts of the mysterious message weighed heavily on his mind. Upon arriving, his mom greeted him with a warm smile, but her expression quickly turned concerned as she noticed his troubled demeanor. Is everything all right, Alex? She asked, her voice laced with worry. 
Alex forced a smile, trying to appear nonchalant. Yeah, everything's fine, Mom. Just a long day at school. His mom studied him for a moment, clearly unconvinced, but she didn't press the issue further. Instead, she busied herself with preparing dinner while Alex helped set the table. Throughout the meal, Alex's mind drifted back to the cryptic note hidden in his locker. He couldn't shake the feeling of unease, the nagging sense that someone was watching him, waiting for him to slip up. After dinner, Alex retreated to his room, the letter burning a hole in his pocket. Alone in the quiet of his room, he unfolded the crumpled paper and read the words once more. As he stared at the message, a knot formed in his stomach. Who had left it for him, and what did they want? The questions swirled in his mind, but Alex knew one thing for certain he couldn't afford to let anyone else know about this. Not yet, at least. Tucking the note away in a drawer, Alex resolved to keep it a secret, to handle whatever was coming his way on his own. With a heavy sigh, he climbed into bed, his thoughts consumed by the ominous warning of the mysterious message.